Okay, Taurus. All right, so just to start off, when I was, uh, after the Aries reading, when I turned off the camera, shuffled up the cards a little bit, some of the same cards came back out. Or the cards that came back out were some that were in the Aries reading, okay? So all of the ones. It was Queen of Wands came back. So Queen of Wands showed itself a couple times. Um, I think it was a nine of wands. What? Okay, so anyway, whatever they were, I believe it was the Eight of Cups. Yeah. So there needs to be some walking away, and I feel like perhaps with Taurus, it's with um, some of you. It may be, if it's not an Aries specifically, it's a Divine Masculine, who perhaps is a twin flame, and. Um, you may be the karmic standing in the way of your own happiness, too. Um, whether you're a twin flame or not, you could be, you know, hindering serendipitous, clandestine, um, divinely orchestrated events for you to line up with your twin flame or soulmate. Okay, and for this person to be able to do the same... And you're kind of being, you know, Taurus can be stubborn. My brother's a triple Taurus. I, it's like you're being stubborn and impatient at the same time. It's like, I'm being stubborn and making myself stuck, but why I'm being, I, I, I'm so impatient about why no one will come rescue me. <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down for this video. It's okay. We love Taurus. Um, you know, it's like Taurus wants to kind of do their own thing. Whenever they are, are in that energy, it, well, it's hard because Taurus is, you know, they bring the ambiance. It, the, you know, they can be very attractive, very alluring, very talented. And a lot. Okay, they're big earth energy, so they can tap into the, my back, it just, excuse me. Uh, they can tap into the earth and really manifest, okay, with that mother. Okay, they're Venus ruled, so you guys can really... Bring forth beauty, abundance, all that divine feminine stuff, okay? So when you want them to spend time alone, people, you know, it's like they get sick of you and then they're like, where Taurus go? They bring all the beauty. They, 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 got, <laughs> they always have the good food, and the, right? So, um, and it's like, that's what I had to go do before. And milk and honey, okay, I had some organic green tea. And um, with milk and honey, so... It's like, that's what you are, Taurus. Milk, you're the milk and honey, okay? But there's, uh, well, specifically, there's like some karmic stuff, twin flames. If it's not a specific Aries, like I said, it's a divine masculine. It could be male or female. I'm just saying you're dealing with the divine masculine that um, you're being stubborn yet impatient. At the same time, I don't even know if that's a thing. That if anyone, if that's a thing, only a Taurus could do that. Okay, so <laughs> I okay, so I didn't look. I shuffled and then cut whatever. I didn't look at the top or bottom, but there you are. Okay, and what was I just saying? Like you want to remove yourself from everything, but then people are just pulling you back. Like come on, we're Taurus. So hermit. Okay, that's Virgo. That's another Earth energy. So you know that's. Not a far stretch for you to um, go align with the self, go deep into the core. And you're ruled by Venus, so you you know you can do that. Um, deep love stuff. So the heart, the wisdom of the divine feminine. You find your footing. You find your way. Um, and, and it's, it's not even that, there could be confusion. I, I was confused, I was, you know, because people you have past life connection to, so it's, it could be very hard. <laughs> Three pentacles, it's like, it's like, <sighs> there's three pentacles, they all look exactly the same. I know I'm one of them, and I need, and one of the other ones is mine, but they, it's the exact same date on the penny and everything. Oh my god, it's all the difference. Ooh. Devil card, six of cups. 
L. As Gabriel. How am I going to... Mm -hmm. Six of Cups, Double Card, Three of Pentacles. That's what I'm saying. There's this... And it's Earth, Three of Pentacles. It's like... And there could be... It could be... Couple other earth signs, like I said, okay, the hermit was there, so and then there's a devil card, so that could be Capricorn, so it could be a little somebody, uh, you could be the stubborn Taurus, okay, and then there is a Capricorn and a Virgo, and it, it's not like a third party situation necessarily, it's just a uh, you know, because there could be like they're not even in communication or living together or anything, okay, I'm just saying, um. Or you may, this could be a behind the scenes person, okay, but you don't even know they exist, but you, you gotta let go of your attachment to this person. And already Virgo and Capricorn and Taurus came up, and there's a three of pentacles, so, um, maybe, maybe there's this a, co a cooperative effort, and you're kind of hindering the process somehow. Let's see. Oh, jeez. Okay, too many all at once in the very beginning. So we're going to put these back. With, so two of pentacles, queen of cups, ace of swords. Knight of swords, ace of swords. So there needs to be some clarity. Uh, perhaps communication. Um... Or you're being impatient, you want the communication. <laughs> that loving communication, so you're you're getting in balance. Now it's affecting others around you. This could just be like your family, your vibe tribe, your, okay. And three of wands, queen of cups, six of swords. <laughs> so it's like waiting on something, moving forward. Wait. I, Like you want to charge for it's like you deal some inertia seven of pentacles yeah the lovers okay inertia growth it's like a growth spurt and then nothing's happening um it's an impediment of Low, I feel. I think it's not that you're to blame, Taurus. It's just you, you're such a big Earth energy. You can really you have a lot of pull in this situation, okay? And bully comes from bull. We don't want we want a pull, not bull, okay? <laughs> Seven of cups, six of wands, eight of cups, nine of wands. It's like it's unclear what you want. Six of one, what what the victory march your is gonna look like. Who's gonna be what? What you're having a hard time because nine of wands, eight of cups. It's like walking away. The pressure. You know you need to walk away. <laughs> but it's like you. It's like you're unclear as to what's what it's gonna be to make you whole. The world was on the bottom. Three swords on the top. So it's almost like you'll stay in a situation that you know isn't good for you. It's almost like you're afraid to test the waters of the of that, you know, Venusian, Divine Feminine, Taurus, the time of the High Priestess rule. Maybe you're dealing with a lot of just distorted masculine energy, but this three of pentacles and magician together, see here's five of cups, the full, okay, so with those, I'm saying the past about just This literally, I, I'm getting like the full from that because with five of cups and this magician, it's 
It's like you're being foolish. You know what the you know how to manifest. You know how to cooperate. You know how to, but it's like, and you have all the idea, all the you got it all. Three of Pentacles. You have the cooperation. You have the tools. You have the skills. You have the magician. Have, okay. But it's like you're you want to you want to be. That's what I'm saying. It's like impatience and being stuck at the same time. Because it's like fool. You want to go, do, 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 but you're like stuck with the five of cups. So now this fool is being foolish and folly and not actually in the heart, which is where we're gonna manifest from. You gotta put your present in the past. That's what I just got because. I got the missing element for this magician is being in the now. That's why you can't get anything manifested. And you seemingly have all things working in your favor with the three of pentacles. But you can't get something off the ground. Maybe you're looking into the past to see how to figure out, figure that out. But you need to look around you right now. At what you have available to you right now. Just too many. But, okay, the star. That's very visionary. What do you have around you right now? Star and six of cups. There's six of wands. Star, six of cups, six of wands. That could be... Very much victory and reunion, getting something something started, okay? Manifesting something, getting it off the ground. Okay, reunion with family, loved ones, friends, vibe tribe. Um, what's the word? Uh, your peers. See, that's, that's, a, that's also the thing that helps you manifest so much is that cooperation. You can really get people in alignment, okay? Because that bull energy, if, if you keep it balanced, you can really manifest a lot of cooperation and people coming together, um, working towards something that, you, an idea you came up with, Okay. And you can really get people online and on board with that. Because of the energy of Taurus, how big Earth, it really brings um, people's dreams into reality. <laughs> Two of Cups came out right when I said that. And that's all we want, right, is love. Three of Pentacles, a Magician, Two of Cups. Okay. Seven of Swords, Page of Swords. Oh. See how that just keeps coming in? It's like, oh, it's like goodness, goodness, and then you're like, uh, oh, trying to make sure there's not something wrong. <laughs> trying to make sure there's not something bad happening. Trying, it's like it. You know, you turned off the oven and all the stuff, and you're on vacation a million miles away, but you keep worrying about whether you left the oven on or not. It's, you find, you, you even called your neighbor. They went over and checked. It's not on. Okay? They locked the door, everything. They called you back. They even showed it, did, did a still shot, showed it to you. You need to let go, let. Okay, I just got, you need to let others take the reins a little bit. Uh, delegate. Seven of Swords, Page of Swords. Use your power of influence to speak, speak, um, speak, speak. <laughs> right? Not for manipulation. If you keep it balanced, that seven of swords, you, okay, you, you see the perspective. You have, you, this, I have very much see this as Gemini energy, page of swords. So you have, you see the light and the dark, okay? And Venus, that cross, light and dark, okay, masculine, and then she's the feminine, the two, Okay. He's one point of light. She's two. Okay. Now. Because she's the divide to let the light in and out. So. 
which is two of cups right here. So if you tune into that, that's what you are, Taurus. That divine feminine, the, 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 the time of the, the rule of the high priestess, okay? So use your power of influence from your wide perspective because of that heart, okay? Venus is that cross that, that's for a reason because that balance of the divine masculine and fem feminine centered in the heart, all about love. Use that power of influence to bring, okay, I just got this, to help bring others together. Even if it's not, you know, maybe take the focus off yourself and give back. This could be a community effort of where you're donating your time, okay, helping others help to serve the community um, to come together in love. Okay, it's not always about, and that helped me a lot having taken on that perspective so with the seven of swords and that so you can use that perspective to bring more love bring people together bring more because that's what it's really all about it's just having more and more of that okay even if we seemingly can't have it for ourselves but we are having it for ourselves because we're helping others to come together in that energy so <clears throat> speak delegate um Oh, tower. I didn't want it to come up, but okay. And there's the two of wands. There's the two of cups. So there should be some karmic energy that, okay. And here's high priestess. I'm saying Taurus is time of the high priestess rule. Okay. She's the one who laid down the law. Two of wands. So this us I'm saying some twin flame energy, perhaps. Okay. There's towers, you know. Don't be an obstruction. Make sure, because everyone's path needs to be clear. You don't want to be the one obstructing someone's path. Okay? Because then when you're ready, and you think all systems go, and you're going down your path, here comes your obstruction to make sure things stay balanced, which is what Taurus is all about. So two of wands, the path. High priestess, two of wands. You really need to manifest from that point of the Divine Feminine. Um, this like some Mars. Zap, zap. Mm -hmm. So maybe you need some crown chakra activations, light penetrations of the masculine, Divine Masculine knowledge. And um, maybe you're too much in the Feminine. Okay. However it speaks to you, however it plays out for you, it, you need to maintain balance, because that's what draws things, brings things together. I just got love, recognize love. <laughs> so tower, I'm, I was saying at the beginning, we don't want to be blocking path, twin flame stuff, we don't want to mess around. With that, because then you're going to get some Gabriel fire up your butt and it burns. And <laughs> you're going to get it in your eyeball and your ear bone. And <laughs> yeah. And your foot, ankle, legs going to turn into one whole body part. <laughs> right? Because you're going to... Right, anything that's obstructive to love and manifesting this divine feminine stuff, this kind of, you're you're gonna be blasted with however, whatever, um, whatever is best for the situation, whatever needs to be activated in you. Oh, these are these light codes, zap zap coming in. Okay, with that, always there's the lightning hitting the crown chakra. Like an, a node, an electrode, <laughs> where we receive our information. So, okay, so this is what you need to focus on. Page of Cups, that innocent love. Not the love of, like, uh, whatever. Single white female. Um, <laughs> that came out first, but I was trying to think of another one. Ah, what's it? What is it? With the clean close, you know, um, bunny s rabbit soup. <laughs> um... See, Queen of Swords, <laughs> Six of Cups. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because you don't want to be that. You want to be the Queen of Cups. You don't want to be the Queen of Swords and always just, like, thinking about love. You want to be love. Be in the heart. Love. Okay. 
Because Queen of Swords, she just got her swords. That ain't... That's... Nah. A cup of water. I you could bring forth a lot more life with that. And she's got truth. Cool. And she's right... Right? She's right all the time. She's always so right. She's so damn right. You're so damn right. Taurus, you right. Okay? You're right. Now go forth in love. You're like, I'm so right. Okay. Just imagine everyone said, you're right, Taurus. You were right all along. Yeah. You had your I'm right party. Okay? Do you want to be right? Or do you want to be... Okay, this is just friendship, truth, peace. I'm done. I just want love. That kind of... Let go of the sword. That ain't love. It's like you're trying to find love, but you got a sword in your hand, and everyone's like, whoa, whoa, I'm getting away from you. <laughs> Come as the innocent page of cups with the, just offering of love a cup in your hand. That is not going to hurt anybody. Everybody's going to be like, what's, oh, what do you got in your cup? Let me see. Let's talk about it. Right? Make Bring in some community with that three of pentacles. This is what's going to attract, you know, that honey, milk and honey. Okay, that's what she got. And that's what's going to attract people to you. It seemed like she had on her arm. Oh, these look like, um... It's like a little bun hairdo. And it's got like a little clip that kind of looks like a dragonfly or butterfly. So that's transformation. But it's also the nymph that if it's, you know, this dragonfly medicine is emerging when you're ready. And that's interesting because I just saw dragon's face right here. So dragonfly. So that's a good me message. So I think you're ready. It's time. See a little dragon right there? Okay. The innocence and beauty of the divine feminine wisdom. It's time to emerge, Taurus. Okay. See all this? You're like emerging up out of the dark night of the soul, the abyss of the soul. With, because we're not allowed to, <laughs> allowed. <laughs> we're not allowed to go forth on the next level until we come out of the darkness. We're going to go down, do all the shadow work down. You don't get to have all that good love and stuff. So gotta do this stuff first so are you ready okay emerge little dragonfly nymph okay it's time for you to emerge look at the you got the white dragon assisting you the high vibe fuchsia color okay dragonfly medicine dragon medicine divine feminine wisdom but not like the high priestess. Can, that's the more evolved. We were just focusing on this. You're too much focused on the okay, cave with the page. Of, I mean the um, queen of swords. You also have the page of swords with the seven of swords. But it's queen of swords. You're too much focused on the high priestess stuff. Okay. You got to just be more easy breezy. Let it let it go. Let it slide. Let it flow. Um, Right? Don't get so dressed up for the event. She's got her crown, her sword. She, just keep it simple. <laughs> you're scaring people, Taurus. <laughs> you too. Because you're already Taurus, so you really have to come in meek. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to get so many down likes on, but it's okay. Okay, Taurus. I just saw the wheel got stuck in my hand there a little bit. Yeah, you gotta move forward. You're st sticky stuck in the Mickey muck, um, Mickey mousing around in the muck. <laughs> and then expecting someone to save you. And it's like, even though you've, there's all, it's like the signs keep growing and growing and growing as your friends and family and everything. So uh, you keep going back to that same pit and there's more and more signs. Don't beware, certain death. Blah, blah. And, you, and you're like, here I am sick. And then you're getting impatient. Nobody could. And they're like, oh, we did all we could. We put a gate up. We gave you signs. We did all. <laughs> It's like Taurus is doing the thing where people aren't getting back to them right away. And, and it's like, I, I can't even get back to my own children right away. I'm working. I'm going to school. I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm eating. <laughs> okay. Six of Pentacles. The lovers. <laughs> yeah. You, you need to practice self-love. It's like everybody's practicing self-love because you need to go do that. That's why everywhere you turn, that's all you're going to see. And you're going to be mad at people. But, all, but you can't stay mad because they're practicing self-love. And God's going to make it that way. 
until you go do it for yourself. Oh, was I so right on the money when I just said that? Because King of Swords came out. Okay. So you need to be you need to cool down a little bit. See that red, that fire, the divine feminine, that sword. Okay, that's cool. That's the wisdom. That's the, but the masculine cools it down, balancing it out. <laughs> I, so you can talk and get the words right. <laughs> They're not emotions all over the place because you 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 want page of cups, okay? That innocent love. So um, things need to go, okay? Um, things that you're doing need to go. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, okay? So I'm saying. You need to get clear on what you need to let go of. Let it go. Put it on a horse and give that horse a kick in the rear. Send it on down the road. Okay? Make sure it's packed up good and tight because you don't want that shit coming back. Because <sighs> you got a brand new abundant beginning. Boom. And this came up for Aries. So I'm saying maybe in spring. You, a Taurus and Aries connection. Okay? Maybe it's coming in for you for spring because Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. So maybe it'll be more clear then when that lines up. Okay, because like King of Swords, maybe it'll be more clear in time. And uh, maybe some signs that have been more impatient are having to really, that's the focus. They need to be patient. So they're going to have to be... Um, so they're going to have to wait a little bit longer or, you know, God is just going to make sure you learn patience somehow. <laughs> Cause, um, we want King of Swords. We want the masculine being the divine masculine. We want Queen of Cups, the, the feminine being the divine feminine. Not King of Cups, not Queen of Swords. We want masculines being divine masculines, feminine being divine feminine. Same with, you know, internal. It's, it's an internal process that has to happen first. Or as, not necessarily that the whole, in, a whole process needs to be complete internal and then you externalize it. It's happening and flowing. So as you do inner work and then it expresses itself, it's reflected outward and it, it's happening simultaneously. Okay. It's got a vision of it's almost like God's pouring a water and pouring a water pouring pour. Taurus. Let's slow down. Okay, let's get our words right. <laughs> pouring water into a vessel that has like a see meaning. It looks like it's two vessels, but it's attached, and it's like there's no sep like some birds. There's no um, and people can have it too. I guess there's no septum, no separation between the nostrils. Okay, but it looks like they're separate. So as soon as God pours some water into you, it automatically levels out. Okay, so it looks like it's filling up, but it automatically levels out. It's like you're the funnel, but it levels out into the other vessel. So it's, that's like the give and take, the inside, outside, as above, so below, where God fills you up, and you need to balance that out with serving others and, and letting that water flow from you. Page of Cups, okay. Four of Pentacles, Strength card. Yeah, you're very strong. You're Taurus. I mean, you ain't got to worry about that. Stop. You don't need to. That you got down. We're gonna. We're focusing on this other stuff I was talking about. <laughs> so, okay, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. That's what I'm saying. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. I didn't say that, but yeah, you don't want to be Queen of Swords. We want this Queen. Of, we want the Divine Feminine being the Divine Feminine, manifesting water, earth. Okay, and also this is, you know, the blockage of the Twin Flame. This person needs to be with who they need to be with. You need to be with who you need to be with, so you can attract your vibe tribe. They didn't, you know, because we're all really one anyway, and we'll you'll become more and more that when you can let go. And just go with your 
with your guidance, which is always from your heart and source creator. You're all you're always going to know what you need to do, okay? Because you'll be given, you'll be activated. It's already inside you. When it's time, you'll get the activation. It'll be ignited. But two queens came out there at the same time. Oh, so could be, you know. What I'm saying could be uh some third party situations here. Um in the physical, you know. And, and maybe yeah, maybe it's just a physical thing because it's Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. So maybe it's a work situation that maybe you're reading too much into it. it. Could be that too. And so you're blocking yourself from manifesting and bringing forth more love and expressing that and just being more of that and having the clarity with the Tower card to clear a path ahead of you so you can see your destiny more sharply. So... Let's see, Page of Pentacles, the Star, King of Wands. Page of Pentacles with Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm saying maybe you're being a little bit immature. Okay. A little bit stubborn, a little bit too much earth rooted stuck. Okay, Page of Pentacles, a little bit the immature side of the earth. Okay. You want to just be this Queen of Cups, and I was just saying that. You want the King of Swords to be the King of Swords. You want the Queen of Cups, that's the Divine Feminine. This is what you want. You need to let go of some beingness, okay, in the 3D. It's like maybe you're seeing someone as a book, but it's just, they're just there in your Twin Flames physical reality. Maybe they work together. Maybe it's their family, and you're like jealous of a cousin or some weird shit, okay? I'm just saying. You need to let it go, because people are going like, Taurus, that's weird. Because <laughs> you're thinking too damn much. That Queen of Swords, but you want it to be King of Swords. King of Swords don't start thinking weird. They're, they're rational, okay? They do what they do. They That's what they do. That's why they know how to do that. And this is what we do as a feminine. Or, like, I'm feminine. I'm just saying. We both, everyone has both inside of them. So we want divine, not distorted. Masculine and feminine. So you need to allow yourself to grow. Didn't that Seven of Pentacles show up? You need to allow yourself to grow up into more emotion, more emotionally um, connecting. Because we have Page of Cups, Two of Cups, Queen of Cups, Star and King of Wands. Because this is destiny. This is a divine masculine King of Wands. So it's like, don't be an impediment. And what I'm thinking is like, what I'm seeing, feeling is like, you're, you're, being an impediment to yourself because maybe you're viewing something as a third party situation but it's it's not cups it's coins so it's like it's just someone they work with they said it could be you know another divine twin flame okay and they're focusing on union with you or whatever and the other person's focusing on you with their twin flame but they share codes a past life deep connections so it's it, okay but it's not um it's not three of cups, okay, is what I'm saying. This is work, okay, three of coins. So it's about anchoring, doing, you know, anchoring, manifesting that love. So when you're not in union, you may pair up with another twin flame, okay? It could be past life soul connect, soulmate connections too, but <clears throat> it's this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is mission work, okay? Um, but because Page of Pentacles came up and then Queen of Pentacles is there, it's just, for some of you who are resonating with, and you'll know, you're like, yeah, I just pray, pray for more maturity. I do that. I like, pray, if, please God help me with my anger. Please God give me more energy. I've been damn tired today. Any little thing, pray for it. Okay. And you'll see changes happen inside. That That's the glory and, and the, the, the miraculousness <laughs> of source. Okay. Um, the more specific you are, the more specific you'll see the results or they match up. Okay. There is no folly in the universe. Everything is perfect. 
Okay. The vision is perfectly clear in the universe, the governing forces. But this is destiny with the Divine Masculine. I see you with Star and King of Wands. Then we have Queen and uh, of Cups and Pentacles, okay? There's only one to get it a star head with. Perhaps. Uh, some people, I don't know, maybe there's a two twin flames. I don't know. But in this case, I'm seeing that, you know, because there's two cups. There's only one other. And I think you're being a little bit maybe some Tauruses. It's okay, you can give me a thumbs down. It's, just, it's okay. Being, being, being triggered is okay too and all that, okay? But some of you are being a little bit immature. I'll just say, okay? Um, because not, you're, it's like you're reading too much into it. You want there to be something that maybe you want to create some drama and emotion because you don't have enough. You want to call in more water, okay? That's not the way to do it, though. You be the water. Okay, with the Page of Cups and Star card. That's Aquarius. That's very high level, okay? King of Swords there. You got Ace of Swords on the bottom. Eagle. Okay. Higher perspective. Ten of Swords. I'm saying you're, th you're reading too much into it. Ten of Swords. Ace of Swords. King of Swords. Call. Okay, this is what Taurus needs to call in is divine masculine knowledge information light codes to activate um the um grow up and stop being so impatient and jealous and obstructive <laughs> use that inertia for something okay um I'm just saying it like that to hurry up and get it out. Whatever. I'm, the words aren't always so eloquent. I ain't, this ain't my reading. I ain't, I ain't got no ace of swords. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's see. What's the ace of swords, ten of swords? Okay. <laughs> What's going to help you with this ace of swords, ten of swords? One final card here. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Right, moving forward in love. As you move forward, the momentum you gain in love, that's the momentum coming at you with love, okay? It matches, the things with the universe and it, natural and spiritual law, everything matches up and balances out. So as much as you're willing to give love and push that forward out into the universe, that's how much is pushing back and coming at you. Okay, so, yeah. Knight of Cups. So be clear. See yourself clearly. What you're doing, where you're going, who you're hanging out with, what you're thinking about, how you're feeling. <laughs> Taurus, okay? Venus ruled. Your bull, high priestess, oh, hierophant, all that divine feminine. Lot, there's a lot there, right? The endless abyss. So just see clearly what you're working with right now and take it on one one chew it like chew in your cud right chew chew it up let take your time with it you don't need to rush yourself you just need to start heading in the right direction get out of your own way because bulls that do that right they got a lot of inertia but once they get going you can't stop them which is what i just got with the star and king of wands that's you too that's a message for you you can't stop them So, follow forth in love and you will meet your destiny. Alright? And it's a beautiful you when you find it. Love, peace, and blessings. <laughs>